Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, that official loading screen, all the hype is starting to build with footies coming on Friday. And man, the market is crashing because of it, but specifically in one area. Today, I want to break it down, look at all of the hype that is building, and all the prices that are crashing, and look forward to some potential new weekend league rewards that we already can know about because of packs that have been added to the code as a part of footy. So a lot to cover in today's video, a lot of hype building for footies. If you're excited for the promo, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's start with looking at yesterday's content like we always do. Kind of a banger Wednesday, man. Like some surprises from EA. First of all, the first surprise that we had a foot birthday Jarzinho SBC for the player. Second Jarzinho SBC of the entire year. A lot of us did that mid Jarzinho early on this year, right? That 90 rated card was super duper good. And now we have the 93 to craft. He was a 2 million coin card before the SBC dropped. And this SBC is coming in at 1.6 to 1.7 million coins, which guys, I think is good value. And wait, if you want to do this SBC, maybe don't do it just yet. Here's why it's good value, because we're about to enter footies where there's a lot of fodder available as past special cards are re-released back into packs. I bet this SBC is not going to be costing 1.7 mil by the time we get to this weekend or even next week i think it's going to end up being cheaper because of the high rated fodder prices that might be dropping we'll talk about that but that's i mean a five star five star jarzino i mean if you haven't used jarzino this year and you won an SBC to kind of craft for an icon at this later stage of the game yes it's got really high rated squads in it which seems daunting but at this stage the re-release of special cards you've got maybe some of those level up cards um, that you don't need in your club anymore from completing the upgrade for those those are great for 92 rated squads and man uh, that is a really really insane card so ggs the ea for dropping that at a decent price i think um, very craftable as well at this end game stage and then also we had another player sbc yesterday jamie vardy party as leaked five star weak foot but not the five star skill moves if they would have made this card five five it would have been a massive massive sbc but still it's really really good 99 attack positioning and finishing and once that i want to point out 95 aggression for a card like this with a unique body type he's got finesse shot power header trait and uh dives into tackles trait as well with 95 aggression he's probably going to feel very overpowered and kind of jammy if you will winning balls back maybe um up the pitch in the attack area of of the field which could be very very nice um and he might be kind of overpowered so for 160,000 coins for that card uh 84 upvote i completely understand it and i do believe once again gabriel jesus has kind of been our example of a card that could drop because of the Vardy, and he did. He's down to 380,000 coins. Now, there's a couple other factors in there, but a lot of your strikers are maybe dropping a little bit extra because of that Vardy SBC being the value that it is. Now, let's talk about fodder before we talk about the last SBC that dropped yesterday. High-rated fodder is, of course, up because you have that Jarzinho, and you had the 93+. plus. That is the last SBC we're going to talk about today. Uh, Guys, fodder is up. Right now, in my opinion, is actually a really, really good time to sell some team of the season cards. In my opinion, TOTS cards, I mean, what were they last weekend, right? 20,000 coins on Friday night. And here we are right now with all of the TOTS cards, I think 30K, 31,000 coins for every single one of these. And guys, I'm not I'm not saying that these are gonna get re-released back into packs and get supplied, but weekend league rewards, even though they're being updated, we think they're probably still gonna be packed tradable in the 14 win and above packs. That tradable team of the season SBC is still out, still alive, supplying those cards every single day. So if I had any of that high rated fodder right now, I would be thinking about selling it and the reason i think we should probably look to sell some of that stuff is even maybe some gold cards and some of the other specials is uh, again with all the cards that are going to be re-released into packs this weekend this happened last year right the the cheapest cards by each rating is going to get filled with all the different colors of special cards and packs for the best of release and it's going to drive the higher rated part of the fodder market down just with all that supply. So high rated fodder, especially like your 92s, 93s, 94s even. I think some of these 94s went up a bit yesterday. Chris Smalling is 49,000 coins. He went from, okay, he didn't really go up that much, but maybe some of your 90 
ones went up a good amount. KDB's 28K, I think he's getting sold off. He went all the way to 34,000 coins yesterday before dropping off a bit now. So high-rated fodder, in my opinion, is a sell just because of what is upcoming this weekend. But if you need a bit more fodder, um, you know, and you got to do an SBC, there's still a lot of ways to get it right now. The cup, the draft, there's so many fodder packs you can get. The 85 times 7 refreshes every day. Um, and uh, like if you're trying to do this 93 plus toss or shapeshifters player pick, you do need some fodder. Now this one came back yesterday at a little bit of a cheaper price, 213k. Not bad, honestly. They made an 87 and an 89 rated squad, and I did it. I think I got something that was not good. Um, it is a gamble. It is a risk, but it's a fun one, and it's not that expensive. So 63% um, upvote for that. Can't complain too much. Oh, yeah, I got Richarlison out of mine. I was pretty happy with that. Goes in the Spurs team, and that's nice content, right? Can't be too mad about that. We were glad they refreshed that one. But then, of course, yesterday, we got the big time hype loading screen the footies loading screen finally we have confirmation from ea we had the leak but finally we have this confirmation footies is coming guys and man the car design and people are on both sides of the street with this one they're like yeah nate this car design is sick because it's footies and it's pink and other people are like dude this looks exactly like the car design from last year and from previous years and you're right like this is very very similar to the car designs we have had in years before of footies like this response to my tweet look at this compared to last year's design guys like it looks almost the exact same these are some of the footies cards from last year remember that 98 neymar like this is very very close to last year's design but footies kind of always is it's always a pink card design it honestly looks like a team of the week card that's just turned pink if we're being completely honest um but i don't mind it because it's clean and it's footies and it's pink so i'm with it and the cards always look nice on that card design for sure now once again the regular and the premium card design meaning we're going to have those premium cards in this promo again that's the third promo in a row actually right we had shapeshifters we've had level up with premium cards and now we're going to have footies as well with that kind of base and the premium with the chemistry additions on the card as a part of the promo and guys there's no leaks yet for players we have no idea what players are going to be in this promo team have they added the card design here into the menus that they have not okay i'm very interested to watch that today because those card designs have just been added to the code guys if you take a look at foot scoreboards twitter you've got the footies design and the footies premium design they've been added to the code which makes me think we might see them as early as today we'll talk about that in a little bit but once again this is an sbc and objective based promo guys all of the action for the footies cards is going to take place inside of sbcs and objectives and probably some voting going on as well but most likely unless ea is changing something massive for footies we're not expecting to see these cards in packs and i'm really really curious to see about the best of that's going to be in packs right we've been talking about this that's what we've been expecting i'm really curious to learn more today based off the loading screen that we get because i do see an opportunity for maybe today a loading screen that would be updated that would still be like pink in the background and say footies on it starting in one day but i could see them putting a team of the year car design and maybe a fantasy foot car design just to kind of start to show off a best of re-release alongside of footies cards designs um, on this loading screen so that's one thing i would watch out for today uh, because again we know that best of is confirmed based on some other pack codes that have been added um and and some of that so we do know one thing about footies though is that there are some cr speaking of pack codes there are some crazy crazy packs that have been added to the code first of all and this is what i want you guys to look out for right away weekend league rewards changes guys we've got pack code to prove it as well two packs have been added and this is very similar to last year in footies when they did another weekend league rewards update shapeshifters in weekend league rewards guys 92 plus shapeshifters plus efigs tots three players pack this is the 14 or above pack i do believe now maybe that's 16 and above because there's also a 90 plus three of the same players pack there's a 92 plus and a 90 plus i believe both of these being added at the time that they were added is going to be a weekend league rewards pack so guys after the season updates today that's one of the biggest parts of content make sure you take a look at the weekend league rewards because these might show up in there and it might add some fun and maybe a little bit more motivation because they'll be in player picks and the weekend league rewards packs most likely going forward from this weekend a little bit more motivation to play weekend league and to grind this game in july of course but for some great cards that you could get in rewards also gotta take a look at this pack here 
Super Ultimate Pack contains 250 gold rare players, all items untradeable, and then another pack with 150 players. That is just a crazy amount of players inside of one pack. Probably going to be pretty expensive and probably not that worth it. But just imagine all, if we have a best of in packs, just imagine all the different special cards that you might see inside of that one pack with 250 items in a single pack. That just might be fun to open because it's crazy, right? That EA has been doing a lot of that this year inside of the store. Now, that's kind of all we know about footies. Again, we've talked about footies and what the promo means a lot in the past two footies uploads on the channel so make sure you check those out if you have more questions about what this promo actually is i'll link them up above uh, right here but let's talk about this market guys because i've got basically all my coins liquid i did lose a couple coins on cards yesterday i did make a couple flips as well and we sold renato sanchez because we completed the objective it is done we helped got the co-op games done it's all good to go but oh my goodness our prices on this game Honestly, just getting destroyed. I sold Goretzka for 1.569 after buying him at 1.37. And look at his price right now. 1 million flat. Yes, this card, guys, I still can't believe this is this is the truth. On Tuesday, he was 2.4 mil. Today, right now, he is 1 million coins. That is baffling. That is mind-blowing levels of panic and price drops. Varane's 4 mil? No way, dude. He was literally 7 mil on Monday. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Um, guys, the level up card price drops are just ridiculous. I think it has to do with these guys being objective based and of course everybody finishing their grind, selling the cards to get it out before footies is coming. So footies is definitely impacting the panic selling on these cards, I, I think, 100%. But like, wow, this is absolutely mental, the levels of drop that we have had on these cards. And even the Team 1, right? These Team 1 cards are about to be going, the objectives are about to be going away. I think that's kind of speeding up the panic selling. Davies, 250k. Renato's under 3 mil. Timo Werner's 140,000 coins. Guys, some of these prices could go a little bit lower. But to me right now, I'm thinking... That's the best Alfonso Davies version in the game for 250k, even after the 95 objective goes away. If EA don't extend it, that's still a really good left back card that people will want to use in FIFA. That's still a good Timo Werner, a Renato Sanchez, and an Enzo Fernandez that people will still want to use in FIFA, guys. So don't completely write off these cards that you're never going to use them again or never track their prices again. If you're trying to make some coins in this market here soon, these guys are still going to be some of the best cards in the game on the market. I know that Team 2, you still got the objectives out this next week during footies to grind after. But like some of these price drops are crazy and people are losing a lot of coins. Um, and, you know, at least when you're doing these objectives, you're getting a card in the end that makes you feel like, OK, I lost a bunch of coins or I lost some coins. But at least I'm getting a better version in the end that maybe is halfway worth the coin loss that I had. But like, wow, I mean, these cards, while they do drop a ton in price, they're also really, really great to trade with. Like I talked about the Martinelli and the Goretzka. Uh, I flipped both of those yesterday. I finally just finished probably the last level up that I'll grind out. Um, Raheem the Dream Sterling. I just did 25 squad battles games over two weeks, basically, and finally got that one done. I don't know if he's even going to see the main team. He might as a super sub, but there we go. Uh, but if you're grinding any of the level ups, you know, it looks a lot better now. And if, especially... If you've been waiting, now that like I have 6.2 mil and I see Varane being 4 million coins, I'm like, hey, yo, do I really want to go for this and have the flexed version of Varane for 4.8 mil and go grind games? I really don't. But, you know, that sort of thing might cross your mind. Yeah, these prices are way lower. So if you do want to get the objectives done, it's a little safer to do so now, I guess you could say. But these cards still could drop some more into this weekend. They're definitely going to fluctuate a lot. Like this Goretzka, the Alfonso Davies, uh, as I mentioned, like they really are interesting to me. They're going to have fluctuations. If you want to trade with them, there will be great opportunities to do that. Just be careful because there's probably still some panic selling still to come. Now, that we're talking about all of these price drops and all of these guys' prices being down so much. Goretzka, one mil flat. That's just crazy to me. It's not just these cards, though, guys. Footies is really impacting the market in other areas, too. Um, you know, Felix is 930k. That's down bad for him. Klosterman, I think, is definitely feeling the price drop 
of uh, Davies. Klosterman's 500k or 447, actually looking like a really, really rare card. He's been dropping off um, a lot in the last few hours. I think that has to be because of Davies dropping as low as he is. But some of the shapeshifters and team of the season cards keep dropping as well. Frankie de Jong is 1.28 mil. Edto is 1.2 for the left wing version. That's down bad. Neuer's down bad. Like, if you look across some of the most recent promo cards, people are definitely seeing the footies hype. And they're selling Mares 870. Wow, what a drop. So, it's just kind of scary time out there right now on the market as people are getting excited for footies. And there's a great reason to be excited for footies because, yes, this is an SPC-based promo, but, man, some of the cards, like we looked at at the beginning, the Neymar, the Ferlin Mendy from last year, this is a promo that really ends up being a promo that changes your team because there are so many amazing cards that get released, really high rating cards, really great, you know, upgrade player pick SBCs as well to give you a chance at packing uh, some really, really good cards. We'll talk more about that in tomorrow's video. There might be a big SBC even drop tomorrow on Friday that a lot of people would want to do that would drain even more coins off of the market. We're just going to have to be careful at this stage of the year on the market. But once again, you have to kind of combine that. How careful do you want to be with the market grind and mindset you have to combine that with it is july and i want to have fun with my team and use the players that i want to use because it is the end game so you kind of have to just mix those two together and find out where that balance is for you now quickly today on thursday i want to cover what we expect today because we're expecting a lot today guys and we might even get some answers about weekend league rewards like we've already talked about and a new season it's kind of crazy that the shapeshifters season seven is about to end in a couple of hours probably after um you know this video goes live you'll be watching this you're like you already know what's out there i'm really curious to see today guys i think the xp grind is going to be here to stay i think ea is going to stick with this model and this method and uh, i think that's the way that it's going to be because the season progress it makes it feel more battle pass like and it makes it feel like there's a swaps program like every single season which is kind of nice i think i think we really enjoy this grind of collecting the xp and getting all that so i would assume ea is going to do that again today we'll have to see what i'm most curious about is since these car designs have already been added to the code are we going to see footies players today at like level 20 level 30 level 40 maybe even like level 10 or 5 right like we saw during some of the other ones this year i think there's a potential to actually see players in from footies inside of this season as we start a new one today so watch out for that i'm very curious to see what they do there of course a lot of packs are going to be involved here probably some new player picks that we haven't even dreamt of yet like last time we had a one of four 90 plus icon pick that was at level 40 with a one of five shapeshifters pick there's probably going to be some crazy player picks and packs as a part of the season as well and if there's any objectives that are expiring today last chance to get your xp before this season will shut down and be done and uh other than that today guys i'm not expecting too much um we had such a big day of content yesterday there's maybe a player spc coming today we don't have a leak i believe right now uh we had the fabio carvalho we had the jamie vardy so maybe one last level up player i, I doubt it or one last transfer spc maybe i'm not entirely sure but uh it could just be a quiet day where we end up getting just a marquee matchups day the team of the week upgrade i guess that refreshes every single day tots or tots moments that refreshes is out for another week um and it looks like the hero player pick maybe refreshes today as well so a couple SBCs refreshing of course you got your 85 times 7 it's going to come back today and uh the last day of the daily login so make sure you get that done for a free 81 double the 93 plus does not come back today other than that chat uh, I guess not chat. We're not live streaming. We're doing a YouTube video. Um, really interesting day today just because of the rivals, just because of the uh, season updates and just more hype for building of the footies promo and everything that's going on with that. So honestly, guys, that's going to be the video for today. I hope EA surprises with something. Watch out for leaks and a loading screen today. And we'll be preparing and talking about everything related to footies today on the live stream. If you want to come through, link is down below in the description. But if you're excited for footies, guys, like I am, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you do have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's Foot Account. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.